Okay, Br Brittany Video wanted to start this one by apologizing to all the, the few handful of people, like 20 or 30 people who subscribe to us for Come Town Bits, because our th this channel has actually always been for me and brother to do goofy videos. Well, we shouldn't be the ones, we shouldn't be the ones apologizing. Yeah. It should be the people who are trying to mass false flag us. Yeah, the, the, that's the only thing that happened is we had to make a new channel because our uh, previous one got false flagged by a bunch of people um, in a movie Your called Comics, Comics Gate. Gate. It's uh, a Precious bunch of Comics Gate. gay comic book fans. I just realized I didn't even close my door. so I, I don't know if that's, that's going to echo, but whatever. I'll test this and, and listen to it later. But anyways, I wanted to do a video pointing out that... Uh, our uh, Patreon has, continues to have, at least once a week, but sometimes twice a week, I post uh, secret videos that you can only watch if you donate $5 to our Patreon. So if you want to check out the videos, the videos that we used to post, like, you know, regularly or weekly, um, in fact, several of them were going to go up and just got swallowed into nothingness. They were fucking erased into the, uh, the ether and... Um, I think I the just threw them onto boy. BitChute. They disappeared up the asshole of everyone in Comics Gate. Yeah, so gay. basically um, nobody got to see those. There were several uh, videos that were scheduled to go up and then our channel got nuked. Yeah, um, it's kind of like Mel Gibson's box seats for the fucking Lakers. I had to sell the motherfuckers. But and now no one no can go. No because of you. But, um... But yeah, it's it, it's funny how that worked out because at first it was uh, Liam Gray and you know other people like uh, Umbrella Guy and uh, su uh, suspected uh, Nick Ricada had some involvement in uh, false flagging our channel. Now, and probably also not, not previously, but but previously, previous like in twenty nineteen and stuff. But also probably comic book hot. Yeah, uh, that you know, there, there's a bunch of uh, you know Mecca McCheese and that kind of stuff. Um, irresponsible to accuse them of that, but. Whatever, but Fuck that's it. that. I'm yeah, doing. that's uh, like a, it was a long history of our channel getting hit with massive amounts of uh, false flags over stuff that you know people lied about and claimed uh, that we were doing or saying that they refused to prove or didn't have any proof of, or like you know in um, the whole uh, Nick Ricada circle, they would uh, make a claim and then they would post like a, a like a tiny. A uh, very cropped screen cap of something that has uh, like uh, what Tug did was um, he posted a screen cap of DMs from me where that I had posted, but he cropped out like my other responses. So he he fuck it and then just used that as like the evidence. See, he admitted that he was doing something, and then it turns out it was a joke, and then it blew up in his face, of course. Um, and yet to, so there's all this stuff that all these other people are involved in. Meanwhile, we're just sitting here. We're just fucking being like, what are these people doing? They're gay. Um, anyway, these people are continuing so, to be gay. They continue to remain gay, which is, you know, that's, that's how all of them always are. You know, uh, uh all of them, them, uh, have always been really whiny and, and effeminate and, uh, we'll, you know, we do videos making fun of them. And those videos are behind the paywall on our Patreon, five bucks uh, if you want to see them. Uh, if you don't want to see them, 20 bucks on our Patreon. It's, it's more don't want to see them, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. McDonald's is delicious. Anyways, <laughs> so, um, you know, uh, the the videos addressing... The, the, those videos that I was mentioning that were scheduled and then our channel got nuked, um, they are still somewhere. I think they're on our bit shoot, but... I think they're also still technically on, um, um, they're backed up somewhere. I uploaded them somewhere. And again, if you want to be able to see them, you, you're going to have to don't down, uh, to donate. Thing is that what's funny is, um, you know, all those people, uh, were, um, false flagging us and then got our channel pulled. And then now that we have a new channel back, it's ironically the anti comics gate and people are who are on like Preston Poulter, who's doing a lot of weird shit now like i just watched this video where he was on with doug and preston was like um doug well doug was talking about like you know it's pretty crazy that you know i blew up in, in fame and stuff and it's like is it even that normal to um constantly you know be on camera and be uh you know on people's screens in front of the world and and preston was like 
it's like that meme of of trying to relate and saying something just completely boneheaded where Preston was like, oh, yeah, it's like some people will go and look for any intimate moment you had and dig it up to try and sh- use it against you and shame you. And he and was that's referring not to nearly the same thing. He was referring to a porn movie that he recorded and sold under his own company's name. The same company name that he's using to trademark comic skate under. It's very bizarre and very not self-aware. Um, it's it's uh, very, very strange, very weird, very weird. But um, and, I don't and, know why somebody would do that. Yeah, it seems and, like and there was a lot. It's weird error. because a lot of people around Preston, when we came back, there was a lot of people who were around Preston were in, now interested, you know, the anti-comic skate or the former comic skate are now the ones flagging our channel and, and they're admitting it. Like a Hikaru and, of course, um, Mecha McCheese and fucking, you know, guys like Comic Hut and, and Zombie Namicon who Preston made it, openly made excuses for to the point where we have, like, all the chat logs. They're public. They're not even private. They're just on our channel. He was like, ooh, you know, um, Zombie mm-hmm. Namicon's okay. I think he'll be good for the money. It's like he's a, a literal thief. He's I a know for a fraud. fact he still hasn't gotten that money yet. I wonder if he has realized yeah, it is, is, is uh, I wonder if Preston is still waiting for that money from uh, Zombie Namicon for his half of the Comic Skate uh, trademark uh, uh, contest, you know. Um, I'm not sure Which if he's still waiting for said, that. It was even called by a lot of the other people who are now part of Comic Skate a shitty idea. Who would care about this idea? It's like, oh, you're promoting it less than I did, and you kicked me out. You want nothing to do with me, and I promoted your idea more than even you did. It's very goofy, very strange. Anyways, um, so yeah, um, as far as our videos, uh, uh, videos about Comic Skate, if you want to actually see, you know, the, the ones we're doing, not even if you about don't Comic want Skate, to they're about the, the comics and industry, and, and mostly they're like the real comic liberty and shitty web comics, you know, content. If you want to see it, again, it's, it's going to be five bucks. Um, there's there's more to come. There's more we haven't posted, and then there's more that we are still recording where we're just going to be going off and talking about shit. Um, we have a bunch of videos um, to go to go up or to even be recorded, and some other bonus treats that maybe we'll get to. But again, even if you if want you to, care if you want to see state, any of them, but if content, also if you want us to make any really of them, you have to donate. That everyone should want to watch. If you want any of them to exist at all, because the thing is, we have about 20, like, nuclear videos that would fucking probably result in people, like, punching their children in real life that we're just not even recording. We we're not making them because I don't feel like it. If you donated more money to us, we'd probably be doing that and the internet would be fucking blowing up the way... That we've already gotten people to do that. I mean, look at... We have destroyed people's livelihoods forever. Just last year. Just over a review of somebody's comic. We revealed people to be shitbags before who, anyone else even knew. Who else even has done that, by the way? Who got somebody to end their career forever? Like, several people uh, have attached their jobs and reputations and livelihoods to a guy who now has been caught blackmailing, we who we fucking gamed him into that, and to, to the point where other creators like have to distance themselves. Like Ethan Van Skyver had to distance himself from Liam Gray, and you look at the people who haven't, and they're now uh, a liability to themselves. Like they could, all you have to do is say like, "Oh, you fucking, you like this, huh?" Well, uh. What about the time you stuck up for this guy who was blackmailing? Here's the fucking actual proof of blackmail. Here's this, you know, here's all that stuff. Here's them talking about uh, how they're in favor of false flagging, you know, all that stuff. We even have that for Ethan Van Skyver. So it's like sort of nonstop. We have Ethan Van Skyver uh, promoting the idea of false flagging a channel. And then also at the same time, just like uh, a few months afterward, uh, being like, oh, I'm against false flagging. Yeah, and he's like, we, yeah, we, well, there's even be distant. We, we put the gun to their heads and f- basically forced them to contradict themselves on the public record. 
and then you realize we didn't actually put a gun to anyone's head. They did that themselves. They fucking. They already the had the gun to the. It's like that South Park episode with the hippie driller, where the fucking mayor of South Park is like, "What have I done?" And she fucking puts a gun to her head and fucking pulls the trigger. And then a few scenes later, she's, she's just there with a bandage around just her has head. A bandage on her head. Anyways, um. So yeah, as far as if you want to, if you want any more videos to exist at all, um, ever, uh, even like behind the the paywall, you have to donate to the paywall, and uh, that will encourage us to do more videos. At the same time, there will be um, we're planning to do an actual campaign for the uh, for more comics, so that will be coming soon. I th- I, it was interesting to note a few people canceled their uh their patreon but uh, uh several people uh either started paying or they fucking uh increased their uh, yeah a few a few people who were donating one dollar like just canceled their fucking payment because i told them we're not don't we're not fucking making any content for the one dollar crowd anymore you have to donate at least five bucks I actually kind of got that idea from Comtown because the Comtown Patreon, all it's really for is like five dollars. Will get you could donate one dollar and get nothing, just to do, to give them a dollar, which is perfectly fine. But you could do, donate five dollars and you'll get um, the, the their uh, premium. It would have stayed at a dollar for us. It would have stayed at a dollar, but mm-hmm. you people insisted. I no, yeah, the, what it. happened was, people, it was, yeah, it was a dollar. It was one dollar, and I had to raise the price because the people who were paying one dollar were getting access to unlisted videos that they were then flagging. So we had to raise the price. So again, that's not our fault. Anyways, um, this doesn't include the Come Town videos I post because I post those just to leech views and because, you know, they're funny clips that I want to be able to listen to. And apparently, uh, we have another thing that's happened behind the scenes. You know, which they most won't of you do are that. Never I'm... aware of, and will probably never will be. They won't do this ever. But we've turned a bunch of other comic creators onto Come Town, and now um, we've gotten a couple of them in particular addicted to Come Town. 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 <laughs> So yeah, there's a, a bunch of people who, and that's they're that's the thing. Come. I just posted them because they're fun. Now. They're thirsting for come town. town. But anyways, yeah. The um. So if you want uh to encourage us to fucking just to do anything on, on our channel, donate to the Patreon. Um, uh, Villains of the Snow Sea number two is um almost done. It still I think is going to take a few more weeks. Uh, but it when it's done, we'll be able to throw up a, a fucking physical edition, but as well as the instant digital editions, which will continue to be cheap, which is good. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so if uh, if you want to, uh, uh, once again, if you are fucking not donating $5 to our Patreon, you're missing like 90% of the videos that are on this channel. Uh, you're, you're completely clueless. You're in the dark about all the videos we're doing. Um... Which, uh, again, though, are not Comtown videos. They're about, uh, you know, shitty web comics content, um, which is... It's about really the greatest, about most webcomics. untapped lol cow in human history yes. at this point. We pretty much own the... Uh, the here's another thing, though. Uh, free videos. Uh, we will still be doing streams about um, the Comic Skate documentary that we uh, have... We've basically made... It, uh, we made the first one. That's still on our bit shoot. It's been on our bit shoot literally for years now. Uh, we the are making length. the second ever comic skate documentary, full length documentary. Yes, if, more than full length. It's it's yes. like fucking multiple hours long and uh, extremely very in depth. depth. Extremely in depth, and yet I know we still missed one or two things. But the so, thing is, yeah, yeah, we like, gotta keep going. The new documentary we're going to be doing is just going to be lighter on detail because you can't fucking cover every last detail. Because first of all, because we already have, we've covered every last detail and then some in ways that people are never aware of. So whenever lighter somebody's detail, asking for like, oh, where's a documentary about comics? We already did it. It's on BitChute. It was on our previous channel. Nobody ever mirrored it, so it's good. so that's gone off of YouTube. We asked you people to mirror it. We yeah. said, hey, you have our permission. You have our permission to mirror all of our videos. Our One person did. Channel. One person did, and he's the artist for the new comic, which means he's drawing a new comic and he was mirroring our channel. 
It's like, look at all the work he does that nobody, everyone else just sits around and expects everyone else to do for them. It's really kind of uh, sad. But um, apparently uh, Preston is planning to make a the third ever Comicsgate documentary, which uh, will most likely just be centered around him and it will be entirely focused around it'll him. It'll be like SJW's Always Live by Vox Day. Yeah, it'll just it'll, be it'll like just a be blog about, spat. It, yeah, a, a Twitter spat. Yeah, instead a, of like the big picture. Our, our documentary is about the big picture and we'll be doing uh, videos about that. And so uh, I guess everyone has that to look forward to. So make sure to unlike, share, comment. Don't subscribe. Uh, if you want to see the hidden videos about uh, all the stuff we're talking about, there's a bunch of them on our Patreon behind the $5 tier. Uh, people are enjoying them quite massively. And uh, remember, uh, don't blame Shitty Web Comics. Should have listened to Shitty Web Comics. <laughs>